Saraswati, Sanskrit, Saraswati IAST, Saraswati is the Hindu goddess of knowledge, music, art, wisdom, and learning. She is a part of the trinity of Saraswati, Lakshmi, and Parvati. All the three forms help the trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva to create, maintain, and regenerate recycle the universe, respectively. The earliest known mention of Saraswati as a goddess is in the Rigveda. She has remained significant as a goddess from the Vedic period through modern times of Hindu traditions. Some Hindus celebrate the festival of Vasant Panchami, the fifth day of spring, and also known as Saraswati Puja and Saraswati Jayanti in so many parts of India in her honor, and mark the day by helping young children learn how to write the letters of the alphabet on that day. The goddess is also revered by believers of the Jain religion of West and Central India, as well as some Buddhist sects. Topic Etymology Saraswati is a Sanskrit fusion word of Saras, Saras meaning pooling water, but also sometimes translated as speech, and Vati, Vati meaning she who possesses, also found in the name of Parvati, she who has wings. Originally associated with the river or rivers known as Saraswati, this combination therefore means she who has ponds, lakes, and pooling water, or occasionally, she who possesses speech. It is also a Sanskrit composite word of Sarasavati, Sarasavati which means, one with plenty of water. The word Saraswati appears both as a reference to a river and as a significant deity in the Rigveda. In initial passages, the word refers to the Sarasvati River and is mentioned as one among several northwestern Indian rivers such as the Drishadvati. Saraswati, then, connotes a river deity. In Book 2, the Rigveda describes Saraswati as the best of mothers, of rivers, of goddesses. Ambitame Naditame Divitame Sarasvati Rigveda 2.41.16 Best of mothers, best of rivers, best of goddesses, Sarasvati. Saraswati is celebrated as a feminine deity with healing and purifying powers of abundant, flowing waters in Book 10 of the Rigveda, as follows. Apo Asmana Matara Sunthayantu Gartana no Gartapva Punantu Visvam Hai Ripram Paravanti Davirudi Davya Susiraputa Emi Rigveda 10.17 May the waters, the mothers, cleanse us. May they who purify with butter, purify us with butter. For these goddesses bear away defilement. I come up out of them pure and cleansed. Translated by John Muir. In Vedic literature, Saraswati acquires the same significance for early Indians states John Muir as that accredited to the river Ganges by their modern descendants. In hymns of Book 10 of Rigveda, she is already declared to be the possessor of knowledge. Her importance grows in Vedas composed after Rigveda and in Brahmanas, and the word evolves in its meaning from waters that purify to that which purifies to vash speech that purifies. Two, knowledge that purifies, and ultimately into a spiritual concept of a goddess that embodies knowledge, arts, music, melody, muse, language, rhetoric, eloquence, creative work, and anything whose flow purifies the essence and self of a person. In Upanishads and Dharma Sastras, Saraswati is invoked to remind the reader to meditate on virtue, virtuous emoluments, the meaning and the very essence of one's activity, one's action. Saraswati is known by many names in ancient Hindu literature. Some examples of synonyms for Saraswati include Brahmani, power of Brahma, Brahmi, goddess of sciences, Bharati, goddess of history, Vani and Vachi, both referring to the flow of music, song, melodious speech, eloquent speaking respectively, Vansvari, goddess of letters, Kavijivagravasini, one who dwells on the tongue of poets. Goddess Saraswati is also known as Vidyadatri, goddess who provides knowledge, Veenavadini, goddess who plays Veena, the musical instrument held by Goddess Saraswati, Pustakarini, goddess carrying book with herself, Veenapani, goddess carrying Veena in her hands, Hansavahini, goddess who sits on swan, and Vagdevi, goddess of speech. Topic: <laughs> Nomenclature In the Hindi language, her name is written Hindi. Sarasvati. In the Telugu, Sarasvati is also known as Chajuvula Thali, Kajuvula Thali and Sharada. 
Sarad in Kingani, she is referred to as Sharada, Veenapani, Pustakadarini, Vidya Daini. In Kannada, variants of her name include Sharad, Sharadamba, Vani, Veenapani in the famous Sringeri temple. In Tamil, she is also known as Kalamagal, Kalamakal Kalavani, Kalavani Vani, Vani and Bharati. She is also addressed as Sarada, the one who offers Sara or the essence, Sharada, the one who loves the autumn season, Veena Pustaka Darini, the one holding books and Avina, Vagdevi, Vajishvari, both meaning goddess of speech. Vani, speech, Viradhanayaki, the one bestowing boons, Savitri, consort of Brahma, Gayatri, mother of Vedas. In India, she is locally spelled as Assamese underscore language, Saraswati Saraswati, Bengali, Saraswati Saraswati, Malayalam, Saraswati Saraswati, and Tamil, Karasvati Saraswati. In Odia as Saraswati Saraswati. Outside Nepal and India, she is known in Burmese as Therathadi. Pronounced Theta Uja D or Theta Ua D or Tipitaka Medor. Pronounced Tipitka M D in Chinese as Biankaishan, Biankaitian in Japanese as Benzaitan, Biankaitian, Biankaitian, and in Thai as Saratsawadi, Surasdi or Saratsawadi. S Raswadi. Topic Notes History In Hindu tradition, Sarasvati has retained her significance as a goddess from the Vedic age up to the present day. In Shantipava of the Hindu epic Mahabharata, Saraswati is called the mother of the Vedas, and later as the celestial creative symphony who appeared when Brahma created the universe. In Book 2 of Taittiriya Brahmana, she is called the mother of eloquent speech and melodious music. Saraswati is the active energy and power of Brahma. She is also mentioned in many minor Sanskrit publications such as Sarada Tilaka of 8th century CE as follows May the goddess of speech enable us to attain all possible eloquence She who wears on her locks a young moon Who shines with exquisite luster Who sits reclined on a white lotus And from the crimson cusp of whose hands pours Radiance on the implements of writing, and books produced by her favor on Saraswati, Sarada Tilaka Saraswati became a prominent deity in Buddhist iconography, the consort of Manjushri in 1st millennium CE. In some instances such as in the Sadhanamala of Buddhist pantheon, she has been symbolically represented similar to regional Hindu iconography, but unlike the more well-known depictions of Saraswati. Topic. Symbolism and iconography. The goddess Saraswati is often depicted as a beautiful woman dressed in pure white, often seated on a white lotus, which symbolizes light, knowledge and truth. She not only embodies knowledge but also the experience of the highest reality. Her iconography is typically in white themes from dress to flowers to swan, the color symbolizing sattva guna or purity, discrimination for true knowledge, insight and wisdom. Her dhyana mantra describes her to be as white as the moon, clad in a white dress, bedecked in white ornaments, radiating with beauty, holding a book and a pen in her hands. The book represents knowledge. She is generally shown to have four arms, but sometimes just two. When shown with four hands, those hands symbolically mirror her husband Brahma's four heads, representing manas mind, sense, buddhi intellect, reasoning, chitta imagination, creativity, and ahamkara self-consciousness, ego. Brahma represents the abstract, while she represents action and reality. The four hands hold items with symbolic meaning. A pustaka book or script, a mala rosary, garland, a water pot and a musical instrument vena. The book she holds symbolizes the Vedas representing the universal, divine, eternal, and true knowledge as well as all forms of learning. A mala of crystals, representing the power of meditation, inner reflection and spirituality. A pot of water represents the purifying power to separate right from wrong, the clean from the unclean, and essence from the inessential. In some texts, the pot of water is symbolism for soma, the drink that liberates and leads to knowledge. The most famous feature on Saraswati is a musical instrument called a veena, represents all creative arts and sciences, and her holding it symbolizes expressing knowledge that creates harmony. Saraswati is also associated with anuraga, the love for and rhythm of music, which represents all emotions and feelings expressed in speech or music. A hamsa or swan is often shown near her feet. 
In Hindu mythology, the hamsa is a sacred bird, which if offered a mixture of milk and water, is said to be able to drink the milk alone. It thus symbolizes the ability to discriminate between good and evil, essence from outward show, and the eternal from the evanescent. Due to her association with the swan, Saraswati is also referred to as Hamsavahini, which means, she who has a hamsa as her vehicle. The swan is also a symbolism for spiritual perfection, transcendence and moksha, sometimes a citramakala also called Myra, peacock, is shown beside the goddess. The peacock symbolizes colorful splendor, celebration of dance, and, as the devourer of snakes, the alchemical ability to transmute the serpent poison of self into the radiant plumage of enlightenment. She is usually depicted near a flowing river or other body of water, which depiction may constitute a reference to her early history as a river goddess. Topic: <laughs> Saraswati becomes a river. In some texts it is written that once there was a terrible battle between the Bhargavas and Hehayas, and from this an all-consuming fire called Vardhavani was born which could destroy the whole world. The Devas were worried and they went to Shiva. Shiva suggested that they should go to Saraswati for help as she can become a river and immerse the Vardhavani in the ocean. All the Devas and Devis went to Saraswati and requested her to protect the universe. She said that she would only agree if her consort, Brahma told her to do so. Then they all went to Brahma and Brahma told Saraswati to become a river. Saraswati agreed and left Brahmaloka and arrived at Sage Uttinka's ashram. There she met Shiva. He gave the Vardhavani in a pot to Saraswati and told her that it originated from Plaksha tree. Plaksha tree was ready to bear Saraswati and then Saraswati merged with the tree and transformed into a river. From there she flowed towards Pushkar, Saraswati continued her journey towards the ocean. At last, she reached the end of her journey and immersed the fire in the ocean. <inaudible> Regional manifestations of Saraswati Avatars <inaudible> 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 There are many avatars of goddess Saraswati. Savitri and Gayatri are considered as two wives of Brahma. Mahasaraswati is also one form of Saraswati. She also take her matrika warrior avatar as Brahmani. Saraswati is not just the goddess of knowledge and wisdom but also she is the Brahmavidya herself, the goddess of the wisdom of ultimate truth. Her Mahavidya forms are Matangi and Tara Mahavidya. She manifests as Parvati she is Vaigvavashwari, the ultimate truth. As Lakshmi she is Vidyalakshmi, gives knowledge to seekers. As Buddhi, she protects her children from Maya, the other wife of Ganesha, Siddhi herself. As Parijata, she is the wish-fulfilling tree. <laughs> Maha Saraswati In some regions of India, such as Vindhya, Odisha, West Bengal and Assam, as well as East Nepal, Saraswati is part of the Devi Mahatmya mythology, in the trinity of Mahakali, Mahalakshmi and Mahasaraswati. This is one of many different Hindu legends that attempt to explain how the Hindu trinity of gods Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and goddesses Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati came into being. Various Purana texts offer alternate legends for Maha Saraswati. Maha Saraswati is depicted as eight armed and is often portrayed holding a veena whilst sitting on a white lotus flower. Her dhyana shloka, given at the beginning of the fifth chapter of Devi Mahatmya, is wielding in her lotus hands the bell, trident, plowshare, conch, pestle, discus, bow, and arrow. Her luster is like that of a moon shining in the autumn sky. She is born from the body of Gauri and is the sustaining base of the three worlds. That Mahasaraswati I worship here who destroyed Sumba and other Asuras, Mahasaraswati is also part of another legend, the Navshaktis not to be confused with Navdurgas, or nine forms of Shakti, namely Brahmi, Vaishnavi, Maheshwari, Kaumari, Varahi, Narsimhi, Aindri, Shivduti and Chamunda, revered as powerful and dangerous goddesses in eastern India. They have special significance on Navaratri in these regions. All of these are seen ultimately as aspects of a single great Hindu goddess, with Maha Saraswati as one of those nine. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Mahavidya Nila Saraswati. In Tibet and parts of India, Nila Saraswati is sometimes considered as a form of Mahavidya Tara. Nila Saraswati is not much a different deity from traditional Saraswati, who subsumes her knowledge and creative energy in tantric literature. Though the traditional form of Saraswati is of calm, compassionate, and peaceful one, Nila Sarasvati is the Ugra angry, violent, destructive manifestation in one school of Hinduism, while the more common Saraswati is the Saumya calm, compassionate, productive manifestation found in most others. In tantric literature of the former, Nila Saraswati has 100 names. There are separate dhyana shlokas and mantras for her worship in Tantrasara. She is worshipped in parts of India as an incarnate or incarnation of Goddess Tara but outside India she is not only worshipped but also been manifested as a form of Goddess Saraswati. <laughs> Sharada avatar in Kashmir and Haryana Sharada Peeth is an abandoned Hindu temple and ancient centre of learning along the Kishanganga River in Sharda village of Pakistan administered Kashmir. Between the 6th and 12th centuries CE, it was one of the foremost centres of higher learning in the Indian subcontinent, hosting scholars such as Kalhana, Adi Shankara, Verozana, Kumarajiva, and Thonmi Sambota. It is also said to be where Panini and Hemachandra completed and stored their writings on Sanskrit grammar. Sharada script is a native script of Kashmir and is named after Sarada, another name for Saraswati, the goddess of learning. As part of 1,200 crore Indian rupees Morni to Kalasar Tourism Development Plan announced in January 2019, Government of Haryana is developing the historic Sharda Mata Temple of Chota Trilakpur, along with Kalasar Mahadev Temple, Kapil Mokan Tirth, Panchmukhi Hanuman Temple of Basatiawala, Logar Fort Capital of Banda Singh Bahada. Worship <laughs> <laughs> Temples Ancient Sharada Peeth in Pakistan's Azad Kashmir is one of the oldest surviving temples of Saraswati. There are many temples dedicated to Saraswati around the world. Some notable temples include the Nana Saraswati Temple in Basar on the banks of the River Godavari, the Warangal Saraswati and Sri Saraswati Kshetramu temples in Medic, Telangana. In Karnataka, one of many Saraswati, Sharada pilgrimage spots is Sringari Sharadamba Temple. In Ernakulam district of Kerala, there is a famous Saraswati temple in North Paravur, namely Dakshina Mukambika Temple North Paravur. In Tamil Nadu, Kuthanur hosts a Saraswati temple about 25 km from Tiruvarur. In her identity as Brahmani, additional Saraswati temples can be found throughout Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Uttar Pradesh. Topic. Festivals One of the most famous festivals associated with Goddess Saraswati is the Hindu festival of Vasant Panchami. Celebrated on the fifth day in the Hindu calendar month of Maha month, it is also known as Saraswati Puja and Saraswati Jayanti in India. Topic. Saraswati Puja in East and Northeast India In Assam, West Bengal and Tripura, Goddess Saraswati is worshipped on Vasant Panchami, a Hindu festival celebrated every year on the fifth day in the Hindu calendar month of Maha about February. Hindus celebrate this festival in temples, homes and educational institutes alike. <laughs> Saraswati Puja in North, West and Central India In Bihar and Jharkhand, Vasant Panchami is commonly known as Saraswati Puja. On this day, Goddess Saraswati is worshipped in schools, colleges, educational institutes as well as in institutes associated with music and dance. Cultural programs are also organized in schools and institutes on this day. People especially students worship Goddess Saraswati also in pandals a tent made up of colorful cloths, decorated with lights and other decorative items. 
In these states, on the occasion of Saraswati Puja, goddess Saraswati is worshipped in the form of idol, made up of soil. On Saraswati Puja, the idol is worshipped by people and prasad is distributed among the devotees after Puja. Prasad mainly consists of bundai pieces of carrot, peas and Indian plum On the next day or any day depending on religious condition, the idol is immersed in a pond known as Murti Visarjan or Pratima Visarjan after performing a Havana immolation, with full joy and fun, playing with Abir and Gulal. After Pratima Visarjan, members involved in the organization of puja ceremony eat kichadi together. In Goa, Maharashtra and Karnataka, Saraswati Puja starts with Saraswati Avahan on Maha Saptami and ends on Vijayadashami with Saraswati Udasan or Visarjan. In 2018, the Haryana government launched and sponsored the annual national Saraswati Mahotsav in its state named after Saraswati. Topic: <laughs> Saraswati Puja in South India. In Kerala and Tamil Nadu, the last three days of the Navaratri festival, i.e., Ashtami, Navami, and Dashami, are celebrated as Sarasvati Puja. The celebrations start with the Puja Vipu placing for worship. It consists of placing the books for Puja on the Ashtami day. It may be in one's own house, in the local nursery school run by traditional teachers, or in the local temple. The books will be taken out for reading, after worship, only on the morning of the third day It is called Puja Idupu taking from Puja. Children are happy, since they are not expected to study on these days. On the Vijaya Dashami day, Kerala and Tamil Nadu celebrate the Ezhuthinarathu or initiation of writing for the little children before they are admitted to nursery schools. This is also called Vidyarambam. The child is made to write for the first time on the rice spread in a plate with the index finger, guided by an elder of the family or by a teacher. Topic: <laughs> Outside the Indian subcontinent. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Myanmar. In Burma, the Shvesagan Mon inscription dated to be of 1084 AD, near Bagan, recites the name Saraswati as follows. The wisdom of eloquence called Saraswati shall dwell in the mouth of King Sri Trivawanadityad Hamaraja at all times. Translated by the Nchunan Buddhist arts of Myanmar, she is called Therathadi or Thayayadi. Students in Myanmar pray for her blessings before their exams. She is also believed to be, in Mahayana pantheon of Myanmar, the protector of Buddhist scriptures. <inaudible> <inaudible> Japan The concept of Saraswati migrated from India, through China to Japan, where she appears as Benzaitan. Bianchi worship of Benzaitan arrived in Japan during the 6th through 8th centuries. She is often depicted holding a biwa, a traditional Japanese lute musical instrument. She is enshrined on numerous locations throughout Japan such as the Kamakura's Zenyurai Benzaiten Ugafuku Shrine or Nagoya's Kawahara Shrine. The three biggest shrines in Japan in her honor are at the Inoshima Island in Sagami Bay, the Chikubu Island in Lake Biwa, and the Itsukushima Island in Setu Inland Sea. Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Saraswati was honored with invocations among Hindus of Angkorian Cambodia, suggests a 10th century and another 11th century inscription. She and Brahma are referred to in Cambodian epigraphy from the 7th century onwards, and she is praised by Khmer poets for being goddess of eloquence, writing and music. More offerings were made to her than to her husband Brahma. She is also referred to as Vajasvari and Bharati in Yasavaman era Khmer literature. Thailand In ancient Thai literature, Saraswati Thai, Surasti RTGS, Saratsawadi is the goddess of speech and learning, and consort of Brahma. Over time, Hindu and Buddhist concepts on deities merged in Thailand. Icons of Saraswati with other deities of India are found in old Thai Wats. Amulets with Saraswati and a peacock are also found in Thailand. 
Topic: Indonesia. Watugunung, the last day of the Pawukon calendar, is devoted to Saraswati, goddess of learning. Although it is devoted to books, reading is not allowed. The fourth day of the year is called Pajawesi, meaning iron fence. It commemorates a battle between good and evil. Saraswati is an important goddess in Balinese Hinduism. She shares the same attributes and iconography as Saraswati in Hindu literature of India. In both places, she is the goddess of knowledge, creative arts, wisdom, language, learning, and purity. In Bali, she is celebrated on Saraswati Day, one of the main festivals for Hindus in Indonesia. The day marks the close of 210 day year in the Pawukon calendar. On Saraswati Day, people make offerings in the form of flowers in temples and to sacred texts. The day after Saraswati Day, is Banyu Pinaruk, a day of cleansing. On this day, Hindus of Bali go to the sea, sacred waterfalls or river spots, offer prayers to Saraswati, and then rinse themselves in that water in the morning. Then they prepare a feast, such as the traditional Bebek Betutu and Nasi Kuning, that they share. The Saraswati Day festival has a long history in Bali. It has become more widespread in Hindu community of Indonesia in recent decades, and it is celebrated with theatre and dance performance. Topic Tibet in Tibet, she is known as Yang Chen Ma, singing music goddess, or Yang Chen Drolma, singing music Tara, considered the consort of Manjusri, Buddha of wisdom. She is one of the twenty-one Taras. Saraswati is the divine embodiment and bestower of enlightened eloquence and inspiration, patroness of the arts, sciences, music, language, literature, history, poetry, and philosophy. All those engaged in creative endeavors in Tibetan Buddhism. She is considered the peaceful manifestation of Paldan Lamo, glorious goddess. In the Gelugpa tradition, Paldan Lamo is known as Magzor Gyalmo, the queen who repels armies, and is a wrathful emanation of Saraswati while being a protector. Saraswati was the Yidam, principal personal meditational deity of 14th century Tibetan monk Jasongkapa. He composed a devotional poem to her. She is believed in the Tibetan tradition to have accompanied him on his travels, as well as regularly engaging in conversations with him. See also Citations <coughs> 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 <coughs>